Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel and today we're here with a $500 Michigan Coop event. Uh, so we did get a free ticket for this one. So again, firing in there for free with all the upside. Uh, get Normal buy-in would be $500, 45K guarantee on this one and starting stacks 100,000 chips. Very small one here, big one calls, ace nine two check. Uh, that's out quarter will check call. Turn seven check. Uh, that's again, we'll call one more here. Mainly hoping to see no overcard, no spade, no diamond. So there's a lot of bad rivers here. This is a good one. Um, potentially calling all the way down here. And getting eight to win 30, I do think we call this one. And shows jack six diamonds. They missed their backdoor flush draw. We're good. Uh, potentially a really nice spot here in play for a bounty. So this player is jamming in 10 blinds. Obviously going to call the ace jack from the big blind. King 10, let's win a bounty. Let's go. First bounty of the high roller. Love to see it. $125 going our way. Raise king queen here. Get called. Flop extremely well. Start the bet. Six on the turn. Potting turn here. And boat on the river. So I think if we bet here, we're pretty polar, so we're just gonna rip here. Now we hope he has like a set of sevens, so he's pretty sick. Hope he's a king. Uh, so we're gonna go for it. Snap calls, let's go. Wow, we did need the river, so sick. Oh, we were in such bad shape on the flop, guys. But we get the river of all rivers. And we get a bounty and a lot more chips, another $125. Hopping over the high roller here, this player jams in 67k. So this is 16 blinds, normally not a call with the bounty though. Starting stack's 100k, so it's only two thirds of starting stack. I think Queen Jack becomes a call for that reason. As ace five, so we got 43%. And we win, nice. Raise ace 10 suited, couple calls here. Uh, flop the nut flush draw. Start with a small size here. Going for another bounty. King, queen, 46%. Ah, sadly don't get there. All right, so we had a chance for another bounty. Don't get there, it drops us down to 240K. Seven handed under the gun opens, 47 blinds here. We're just gonna flat, um, flop a set. Pretty wet board, we have a lot on. I think we still want to play this pretty aggressively, even though like his lower pairs feel pretty tough. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of bad turn cards, so I don't think we really want to slow play this one. Uh, checks to us, not shocked to see a lot of checking here. Could even have a decent amount of check raising if he tries to put like my pair of draws in a tough spot, which obviously we would love when we have a top set. Uh, brutal, brutal turn here. Just gonna be a turn check. Great river, we bowed up. <laughs> now we really hope he has the jack. That's 50. So I think at this point when we raise, it's just purely jam. So it'd be sick if he has like nines, eights, I don't know, something like that, would be cool. So we'll go for the jam, they do cover us. And snap folds, you take it down with tens. Cutoff opens, we're gonna jam 26 blinds here with our big bounty and tens in the high roller. Get called pretty quick by eights. Hold, 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 big pot here. Let's go, doubling up in the high roller as well. Whew. So opening queens, two of the stacks behind are pretty short here that we cover for bounties potentially. You see one of the stacks jammed, 6.5 blinds. Queens, King, Jack. Let's go get another bounty, fourth bounty of the tournament. Um, and a bounty, I'm maybe supposed to jam this here because we'd have the bounty play as well that we don't normally have. 
Um, I'm just going to call, if this is a low jack open, I would jam. Here, we're just going to call ace jack. Check queen jack nine. Again, bounty's obviously not anywhere near my expertise, so I'm kind of guessing as we go here. I think this is maybe supposed to be a jam, whereas normally be a pretty pure call. Uh, bets out will call one. Turn five check. Um, Overbet jams. There's some draws out here. I'm trying to think if I want to be here or not, though. I think I'm going to go with no. I think we're going to go with no. Now, if they have like the Jack 10, 10, 9, like diamond stuff, we're going to feel pretty miserable for folding this, but. Uh, not 100% sure. I'm going to fold this, maybe a big mistake. Raise the Jack 10 suited here, essentially opening the button here. Uh, with the button I think was sitting out. So we open big line defense. Uh, get raised. I think it's just going to be a call here. Take the turn. We're starting about 35 lines effective. Uh, very awkward turn card. So diamond comes in, which is going to be a lot of their stuff. We do hit trips. Just going to call. If we get jammed on rivers, it's actually kind of nasty. I'm probably going to be calling as long as like 9 8 and like the miss 9 8 7 8. But Jack would be nice. Uh, whew, King of Diamonds, not nice. Unless he had a flush and it's going to let me fold here. Um, hope it goes check check. We can still win sometimes, obviously. So I'm still rooting for that, obviously, because this is a pretty, I mean, if our stack equals what's in the middle there. Um, decides the bet. I think just going to be a fold. So as far as like his check raises, that would be bluffs here. Like the 9, 8, 8, 7, 9, 7 potentially. Maybe even uses 5, 4. I'd imagine he'd want to do it with either like backdoor hearts or at least a diamond in hand where he can bluff like diamond runouts. Uh, so unfortunately, I think we just fold the jack 10 here. I think we let it go. All right. So let's see. We got hijack open. We'll defend off 22 blinds at the ace 10. Check 9, 9, 5. Uh, against third, we'll check call one. Turn two, check. That's again. So I think I'm going to call one worth ace high and get really sticky. And I don't love having a heart here, but as far as his value hands, he maybe bets over pairs once I just call flop. I don't think, I think he's betting like a nine or like pocket eights, pocket sevens plus. So we'll call ace high here. And then check. And then we would fold river if they bet river. So here we're hoping they'd give up with like eight, seven, seven, six backdoor hearts. Now they could potentially put me on a hand like eight, seven, sixes. So they might use this queen as a bluff card. I think they can go. I think it's okay to go for value with the queen. So I think it's reasonable. So especially having a heart in hand, we're going to be giving up on the river. But I think the turn call is fine. Now this is kind of interesting one where if the small blind jams, we can put them super short. I actually would probably call this one on the bubble. Because if we win, they become super short. So yeah, I think we're going to call this one. Because of who it's against. So they call it, we have jack five and we got 57%. Let's go. Get the double and put this other guy super short. Yes. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Did see the, the knockout here, guys. So we're in the money. So officially in the money in the $500 high roller, 12 of 13 right now. We've locked up $500 to go on top of the bounties. First place and second place, both 5K. Here we've got open in the hijack jamming small blind, 15 blinds here. These checks suited. See the call of fives, got to win flips. Ah, pick up lots of outs on the turn. Unfortunately, we're out of the high roller there. 12th place for that one. Unfortunately, not going to get the win. All right, guys, so we're out of the high roller. Good news is we're still making a run in the $200 80K uh, field start with 451 players down to the final 12, 3 of 12. So 15K up top in this one, locked up currently $1,090. Three short stacks in front, one jams, 15. We call the ace-king suited, a six hold. Ah, oh, six on the flop heart, king. Oh, shoots. All right, so we lose 3.3 .3 million chip pot there. Still have a good stack, but obviously that would have put us in a really good spot up to like 8.9 million if we hold.
tens here. Uh, jam for 1.1. I think the entire range just flats, or do we rejam? I think we just flat. And then if either of these two get in, go with it as well. Tens. Oh, jacks. Run the jacks. Need 10. Pretty massive cooler here when they're short. Unfortunately, lose that one. They jam 11 blinds, obviously getting a call with 10s. Lose that one. So final table here in the $200 80K Michigan Coop events. Uh, we have 45 blinds, so lots of chips here. Five of nine. Average stack is 5 million. We have 5.4. See a jam. Root for eliminations. See the call aces for Dank here. And we do see a pay jump here going up to eighth. We got open flat, three bets. Yeah, for a while, definitely some healthy stacks. All right. Ooh, aces of queens. Wow, what a cooler. Pretty equal stacks. An aces win. So I don't know a ton about ICM, but my understanding is whatever I do, do not bust this hand, <laughs> considering this guy is going to be in. With what is that? Ten percent of a big blind. Ace queen queen eight. All right, get another page jump up to seventh. All right, this is the super strong formation under the gun versus big blind. We're just gonna get it in here for twenty eight. Ace king such a strong hand, but we really don't want to be flipping here when the stacks are so even. But I think sub thirty, we just get it in. Maybe because ICM, I'm supposed to just fly here. But we go for it. Once they don't snap call, we know we're not dominated, which is good. So again, I might find out ICM-wise I'm supposed to just flat this in position under the gun versus BB, but... We'll go for the jam. Eventually calls. Queens are flipping. Ah, all right. Out in seventh. Like I said, ICM wise, I'm maybe supposed to flat, given a lot of even stacks, but we decided to get in with Ace King against the chip leader. Out in seventh. Pretty disappointing to get seventh there after having a good shot at it. Um, you guys can let me know on the shove. Again, tournaments and ICM, not my expertise. I figure I was going to probably jam Queens and Ace King plus as far as the value hands, flat Jackson under as far as what pairs continue. Even though it's such a strong formation. So. We jam, doesn't work out, and we're out in seventh for $2,543. All right, YouTube, that's the end of a tournament session and a very successful one. So we had two free tickets today. We had a $500 ticket and a $200 ticket. So with factoring that in, our actual buy-ins was $440 over 11 entries. Cash is $3,591. Total profit plus $3,151. Really good day there. Uh, pretty disappointed to go out in seventh with a lot of even stacks there. The ace king hand, we had about 28 blinds. I maybe should have just flatted there pre. Again, ICM tournament final table spots, not going to be anywhere near my expertise, but we decided to jam. Unfortunately, lost a massive flip there on that final table. So, hope you enjoyed the hands and the videos today. If you did, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever want to watch the live streams on Twitch, I have a link to my Twitch channel in the description below.